All natural rainwater, jungle rainwater, Mexican jungle rainwater. It literally says. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Destine. If you are new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up? How you doing? What's goody? Um, as you guys can see from the title of this video and my surroundings, I'm in Tulum. I am in Tulum, Mexico. And your girl is gonna give you a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go to brunch with my friends. So it was only right that I did like a little get ready with me, like get ready with me, Jasmine Justine. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. Turn on your post notifications, all that fun stuff. Join the tribe because we're growing. We're so close to 70K and the road to 100K has started, like road to 100K. So click that subscribe button down below and let's just get right into this get ready with me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some skincare. Since being out here, of course, I've been tanning and it's just very imperative to moisturize and hydrate your skin as much as possible. I haven't been wearing makeup. I've only been out here for two days, but this is day three. I haven't been wearing makeup, but I've definitely been doing my skincare. So this is my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. The focus, there you go. I just put that on everywhere. And this stuff is just really good for hydrating, moisturizing, pumping the skin, you know, all that fun stuff. I need to do my baby ears, but I'm gonna wait until I'm done with my face. Then I go in with, I, I kind of like minimized my skincare routine with traveling because I didn't want it to be too extensive. So I'm gonna go in with my illuminating eye cream from Glam Glow. This is like a little sample size that I got in an Ipsy Glam bag. So, I just apply this with my ring fingers under my eyes. I have a towel on, you guys saw in the beginning, so don't think I'm out here naked on camera. Okay, so the eye cream is on. Then I go in with my Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. I really, 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 really love this stuff. So good. This 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 cream is very very hydrating. Yeah. It just feels so good on the skin. And I just apply this everywhere. Okay, so my moisturizer is on. And then what do I do? Oh, then I go in with my oil. I have my roll oil here. The benefits of this are. A plethora, so many, too many to tell. This is like really good for your skin, your hair, your eyebrows, your lashes. I can't apply it to my lashes right now because I have on extensions and I don't want to mess them up, but I normally apply it to my lashes and my brows and then I'll like push it up into my hair because it's just really good for you. And I bring it behind my ears and down my neck like that like so like that and then the last step before makeup is spf i have super group unseen sunscreen it literally like rubbed away but it's spf 40. it's water and sweat resistant and it's clear so it doesn't give you that stupid like white cast that other sunscreens give you especially on my melanated peoples my my black people you know you don't want to look like ashy or just have that weird gray cat. So I really, 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 really love this stuff. And I'm kind of generous because I don't want to burn on my face. That is the last thing that I want. So don't forget the ears. Really like the last step for skincare is my um, lip moisturizer. This is from Laneige, it's the lip sleeping mask. Just apply this to my lips too. This is so good. I actually want to do my baby hairs before I go in 
and think that I want to do makeup because I feel like once I do my baby hairs that I'm not going to really want to do makeup. <laughs> I don't really feel like it's necessary out here. Water break. I'm feeling very dehydrated. I don't know, I woke up this morning. I think it was because whatever I had last night before I went to sleep was like high in sodium. So I woke up like thirsty as fuck. Drinking that um, all natural rainwater, jungle rainwater, Mexican jungle rainwater. It literally says, it says Caribbean jungle rain. Purest source of natural water. It tastes like Paul and Spring to me, but it's real good. Okay, so I put Eco Styler gel in this squeezy tube because I knew that I was gonna need it for my hair. So my hair is obviously in braids. They're getting kind of messy because I've been in and out of the water and stuff. And I honestly, I haven't been wearing my scarf, but that's okay. So I just squeeze some on the back of my hand and then I take my very dirty edge brush. Don't look at this. Like don't even look at my toothbrush. Just look at the magic, okay? So I just pull my my baby hairs out like this. I use the Eco Styler to kind of form them first because it's a very soft gel and it also like has water in it. It's a water-based gel, so it's gonna curl my hair up. If I were to just go straight in with the next product that I'm gonna show you, it would be like too stiff on my edges. My hair is very soft, so I, I need it to curl up first and then I can like set it in place if that makes sense. A lot of people also be like, how do you get your edges to stay so long? If I just use the Eco Styler, girl, these would be gone in an hour. With all the sweating and just how humid it is outside, it literally like wouldn't last. It's not strong enough on its own, but I gotta use it first. And I've learned this through trial and error, okay? This is years of experience now. <laughs> it is though, but. I just pull my baby hairs out. She got them though. She got some edges though. Remember when I had no edges? Yeah, I think it was the Marula oil. Shout out to my sister. Shout out to Nadi. So then I'll usually take like whatever's left on my hand and kind of um, touch up the ends here. Everyone has a different preference on their baby hairs. I like mine very like kind of dramatic and just curly and, and there. So that's me. If that's not your preference, then I would suggest not to do them like this. I love it. Then I go in with my uh, Style Factor Edge Booster in coconut. This stuff is the truth. Stronghold and high shine. So these just make my baby hairs look, mm, they just make them look good. And I take that same brush and I go over I don't have to pick up too much on the brush. Like I'll dip it in here and then I'll kind of like rub the excess off on the edge because I don't want, I don't want too much product. Yeah, I just feel like dramatic baby hairs really just goes with braided styles like this. I probably wouldn't do them this dramatic if I had like a ponytail on, to be honest. Or maybe I would, I don't know. I'm kind of extra, I'm kind of an extra ass person now. That's my hair done. Next, I wanna just brush my brows. I have a spoolie here. I wanna brush my brows up because they are laminated, but they get kind of unruly. So with lamination, it perms your brows straight. 
so that they look fuller and that they lie flatter on your face. So that's like the main purpose and reason for laminating your brows. My brows naturally, with the way that they grow in, they just look thinner. So I like that they give me, it gives me a fuller, fluffier brow. Um, that's why I like my brows. I like them brushed all the way up like Beyonce. Like Beyonce. Beyonce, sweetie. Beyonce. I'm gonna put my perfume on. This is my Replica perfume um, in Beach Walk. I'll just put it here, here, a little here, a little here. This stuff is like, this is literally the perfect vacation fragrance. It just smells so good. And then, oh, should I do a little makeup? Okay, so the last step is gonna be um, a lip oil. I just started using this one, but I love it so much. It's from Florence by Mills. It's a lip oil. It says Glow Yeah Lip Oil. I don't think there's a shade. I think it's just one. But this stuff, I've been using it ever since I got here. Cause I got this in my Ipsy bag, my Ipsy Glam bag. And oh my God, the shine is just crazy. It's so, so good. So I've decided I don't want to do makeup. Um, I don't feel like I need to. I would do makeup for dinner. So I'm thinking about filming another get ready with me for dinner, but that's tentative as well. Because I, again, I don't know. I'm just not feeling the makeup. Like I feel like I'm on vacation. I don't want to have to put anything on my face that I'm going to sweat off. But I'm actually about to get dressed. Let me show you guys. I have this really cute mint two-piece bathing suit that I'm gonna be putting on. And then I have this really cute cover-up from 11.30. It's like a skirt, a crochet skirt and matching top. So I'm about to put these on and I'll be right back. This is what the bathing suit looks like. Okay, so this is the outfit, and then I think I'm gonna just wear my white Gucci slides because they go with it. But this is it. And then for my bag, my accessories, I'm gonna be carrying this really cute bag that I got from Zara that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It did come with a long strap, but I'm just gonna be using the short strap because I love to like kind of just hold it. Like she's just so cute and just so Tulum. Mexico appropriate. Like this is literally such a cute bag. Outfit. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe. Turn on your post notifications because I upload three times a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to go run off to brunch and fill my belly up with some good food. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.